Hello and welcome YouTube viewers. Welcome to the dungeon. I am working on Rune Audio. Rune Audio. You might ask yourself, what is Rune Audio? Well, don't let Rune Audio ruin your life. But it shouldn't because it's a good thing to have in one's life. Rune Audio. It's a piece of software that you install on a device such as this, the Raspberry Pi 3, connected to a touch screen or uh, another Raspberry Pi uh, 3 connected with a sound card um, with RCA outputs to go to your favorite audio uh, device. So currently we're using um, IP addresses to connect to our various devices. So. What do I mean by that? Well, for example, here I've got a series of um, of IP addresses that I use to connect various devices to uh, to Rune Audio. I got Volmino as well. So when I launch Rune Audio, for example, on my smartphone says that the site can't be reached and that this address is not good so I go back and I go to my internet and I will enter an IP address that I am aware of that is functioning so 192.168.1.1 Point one two, and I search for that, and I put it in the wrong. I put it in the wrong address bar. I, I generally start with h, http, 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 um, colon, forward slash, forward slash. And then I enter the IP address one, whatever it happens to be for you guys out there in YouTube land, and just make sure you you add the the correct uh, characters in the sequence that you're entering. You can't omit periods or slashes or anything like that. So I'll try this one more time. Give me the old go ahead and voila! Rune Audio is on the smartphone and I can just start that. Shepherds, we may be for the. It's a favorite of mine. Okay, so. Just had that song play. Okay, I just wanted to show you how easy it is to get uh, Should be playing, and it appears that it's not because I hit pause. There, I think we're all familiar with some more. Don't want to have any copyright infringements with any of this uh, content here because I'm having issues with my YouTube videos 
uh, because I have included a song that everybody likes and the owners want to have make their um, revenues there. See how quick that plays. It plays at all. Hmm. It's added to the key. Another song by a classic artist. I want you two to be able to see that. Don't want, again, to be breaking any of the YouTube laws. So, in conclusion, I'd like to say this, this is how you connect your Raspberry Pi and Rune Audio using existing technology and interfaces such as the World Wide Web and Raspberry Pi. So what I want to do here on my Raspberry Pi is um, go to the USB storage again or even go back to playback because we were just there. There it is here. Play it again. Except this time I'm using my Raspberry Pi which I've got a power bank. i got a power bank connected to it so it makes it kind of semi semi wireless. Right? So this Raspberry Pi and this smartphone I closed I closed it again. I closed it again. Oh boy. All right. Um which okay, when I get into rune audio when I get into rune audio on my smart device and I'm in rune audio on my other smart device they're both talking to this smart device called the Raspberry Pi 3 without a touch screen. This um, is a, a Pi Hat uh, standard. It plugs into the GPIO header on the Raspberry Pi and it's powered up and it sends a signal out through the RCA to uh, my audio device that I have plugged into it, which I have to say I have still not yet figured out all the software parameters um, to run the hardware. So the hardware is working, but I just can't get the software to talk to it to get the output that I'm desiring to function with things like Rune Audio when I'm using Rune Audio, and I select my my output device. I um. I don't see it on my list here, so it says audio output interface right there. I'm not sure if you can see that. I'll zoom in a little bit better. But yeah, the audio uh, interface is not what it is, what I expect it to be and what I want it to be. So I'm still hammering out some of those issues. And you can probably see that a little bit better now. So those are my choices, Raspberry Pi Analog Out or Raspberry Pi HDMI Out. And uh, currently I've got it set for HDMI Output, which is where um, this device is connected as well. This is my HDMI cable right there plugged into the Raspberry Pi 
that's my HDMI cable right here and it's plugged into into if you can see it right up there right up there and guess what that big monitor is also dialed in and tuned into you guessed it rune audio rune audio so rune audio is being broadcast to the big screen from my little Raspberry Pi 3 here. This is the other Raspberry Pi 3 which is also connected to this Raspberry Pi and this smartphone is also uh, connected via the internet through the IP address to Rune Audio to talk to that small little device right over there right so my smartphone Raspberry Pi 3 with touch screen Raspberry Pi 3 with HDMI output going to the big screen all connected together all talking to each other via the internet through the IP addresses of uh, this this device right here. So this device right here has the IP address that I just connected to. Okay. On Rune Audio. Rune Audio. If that can be seen, I'm not sure. This is the address that this device is plugged into on the internet. That's the IP address of this device. So anything that you um, talk to on the internet can talk to that device. I know I'm not expressing myself very clearly or articulately. YouTube viewers, I appreciate you um, viewing this video which 